So in today's setup, we'll talk about creating uh, Velum balloon that's uh, been to a string that's connected to a rotating pole, and we'll have this cool animation. Why I have this line here? It should not be there. It should not. Anyway, it's an artifact. It's not in the render. Um, the file is available on my Patreon, so pay me a visit there and support me. You have all kind, all type of files and sample file and scenes and set up for you to play with. So that will be very grateful if you can support me on my Patreon. So let's head to the file, stop this one, go to Houdini. So as always, couple of lovely file uh, lights, cameras, and this is the scene file. At the top all the way, we start, we didn't start with a box or a sphere, it's a tube. So here is my glorious tube with a height of 8 meter and it's being transformed according to the motion we have here so if we dive in it's a wave so in the motion where is the motion 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 here so I have this continuous rotating okay back to the scene so if we play it see spin very fast then slow down and rotate in the opposite side cool so I have this animation running all the way then I choose selected points that I group them and call them points column this is where the inflation or the not the inflation this is where the constraint, the binning, will happen. So it's not in every place specific rows. I blast them. I remove the polygon and the attribute triangle. I call it MID mid for this point number. Why? Because I want to create the strings so i want to create another point that have the same id so i can connect them together so they are transformed outside see like this and the transform length will control how much sorry how much uh, the length of the string merge them both together in the add by polygon, by group, I use the mid that we created here. So I have my strings now. I resample, so I have more points with higher resolution. Attribute triangle, empty attribute triangle. Why is this one here? Ah, I want in the group expression to isolate and group the beginning of the points and another group to isolate and group the end points this would connect to the column and this will be the area or the point that the balloons will be connected to and we stop here so this is our tube and guess what this is our sphere now so here's the sphere <coughs> and here is the strings so I want to copy to point but I use the point end see this is the beginning and this is the end we call it end so I'm connecting to the point end copy to points so I, these are my lovely balloons I group them as balloons or balls I run vellum cloth I leave it the same but the stretch I make it 100 only the pressure 
I leave it at 600 but I'm exporting the pressure group call it p-stretch and then packing them back to the strings it's an all I call them wires the whole area I run constraint volume as a string and I kept it as default it was working for me then back them and merge both of the geometry together and backing and in the volume constraint I'm gluing using glue to wire the balloons to the wire okay so we'll have this connection as you can see here for each one so they are connected and it's fairly strong so it will never fail or break but it will if I add breaking it will break on some stretch stress amount now I'm attaching because I'm connecting here the column now I want to attach the tip to the tube so the wire connected to the tube <coughs> and it's fairly strong inside the vellum solver <coughs> two sub steps and the remaining remain the same vellum constraint property I'm working on the B stretch and the wrist length I kept it the same but the wrist scale I use the same maneuver and I added a wave we have a wave that's rotating up and down so this where is it this will go up and down don't show here okay then in the volume output I'm adding post process I, did, I uh, didn't add special only some basis for the coll collision correction and isolated the wire I give them some thickness merge the whole thing all together add it a background for the scene this is the merge take one of the cameras remove the light and I cache it so it's playing through you know next time if maybe you can try it also that that uh, wires will be the at, uh, balloon at, uh, the attached from the string it will look nice you know maybe we'll try it and then I render it out and this is the result without the line so this is quick setup uh, a lot to be added to it and changing a lot of the parameter will give you different result uh, thank you very much have a nice day